So we recently bought our dream touring bike. And as I said in the last video, it comes with a Brooks B17 saddle, one of the preferred saddles, if not the preferred saddle. So why am I changing it? Yeah, I thought I'd just come down to the waterfront here. There's a nice St. David's lifeboat. A beautiful boat that is. So yes, why if the Brooks B17 saddle is the preferred, if not, and actually in many ways, one of the saddles I've coveted for a long time, why would I be taking it off this bike and changing it? So, as I said, if it's possibly the best saddle for touring in the world, why would I, at this point, can you still see me? Why would I, at this point, be thinking of changing it? I mean, let's face it. Look at that beautiful honey leather. It's a complete work of art. I mean, just look at the, the leather work, how thick this hand-cut leather is. It's a gorgeous saddle, and I'm loath to change it out. But I am going to change it, and I'm going to change it for this. The Brooks B67. Now, it's a very similar saddle in quality. The beautiful cut leather on here. But this version, you can't squeeze them. The springs are actually too hard to get any compression. But when, when your backside's on here, you'll get some compression. What a gorgeous looking saddle that is, the B67. So we're swapping out a Brook saddle for a different Brook saddle. So I'm gonna pop this on here now. Shouldn't be too difficult to fit. There she is. How gorgeous is that? I need to get my little Allen key on there and just tighten it up, make that final change. I might have to adjust the height or the, um, the tilt because you can adjust these seats. But uh, let's just tighten this thing up. You can also sort of adjust the, the forward and back motion of the seat at this point. I'm gonna put it roughly in the center. So it's quite apt that behind me is this beautiful work of art. This is a gorgeous looking RNLI lifeboat. And I think it's a retired lifeboat. Well, clearly it is. <laughs> They're not gonna be able to launch it from here. Let's just tighten that up. I mean, granted, they're both classics, the B67 and the B17. Gorgeous, gorgeous saddles. Oh, and it's as if to celebrate the sun's come out. That looks nice, are you jealous? <laughs> oh, very jealous. Look at that, I could make backies with this one. I think we'll make sure this one goes to a good home. Over here is Michelle's bike. And we've already swapped it out, haven't we, Michelle? I'm not that jealous because I've got one too. <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, I love it. I mean, we've actually put the, um, the wax onto Michelle's. It started to polish up. It's been on two or three days. Yeah. And then we've got these little leather backpacks on here as well. I've got one to go onto mine. Uh, it's just an extra little storage place for tools. So there you have it. I hope that's not too clickbaity. But it was kind of interesting, you know, the reasons why we were changing our Brook saddles. It does seem a little bit odd to take something as iconic as the B17 saddle and take it off your bike. But I think you'll forgive us for going for what I think is going to be a more comfortable ride. We've actually got an idea that we might even go for a suspension seat post because we're going to be cycling so many thousands of kilometers on these bikes. Um, comfort is paramount. All right, take care for Michelle and I at the, uh, is it St. David? St. David's RNLI 
retired lifeboat, <laughs> retired seat in Hive. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode. Be good. Bye. The uh, frame. Wow, it's almost self. Reminds me of Kaplunk. Self. What is it? <laughs> self um, assembling. So they've got all those. It's very light. Very lightweight. It must be.